guys, I'm Nick Keo, and welcome back to Let's Play A Hat in Time, Yakuza Metro. In the last part, we escaped, well, Yakuza Metro, and with all of our timepieces, too, and I imagine the cat lady is not happy. Definitely not happy with what we've done. Anyway, in this episode, we're gonna try and tie up some loose ends to whoever's left here. Anyway, starting off here, obviously, um, the tile screen looks slightly different to show that we have 100% the uh, save file. We also get some unique music. I believe this was also the case for, um, Steal the Deal, whenever you 100% the save file. And, well, I, maybe I'm wrong? I don't know. I think it was the case, but I never got to show it, so, yeah. Here we are. We are. We're at, we're at 109% apparently. <laughs> However that works, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I'm. This episode's pretty much just gonna be a bunch of here's and what and some stuff I probably missed. It might be a pretty jumpy episode, but I mean, how else am I gonna explain all this other stuff for like? I don't know even how I don't even know how long this video is gonna be, but yeah, let's get into it. Okay, first off, if you jump in a pile of money, you you, you do that at, at least in your pile of money anyway. Um. There, I believe there's also a mod to just, you know, activate this animation whenever you want. But, I mean, you, you can just sw swim in the money. You can, you can make snowmans out of money. And, you know, it, it's a fancy time. Give Hat Kid a break. She's hat rough. Anyway, uh... We also can see that, well... We've, well, completed Yaxi the Metro. But we aren't exactly done yet. There's a few things that I have missed, and one thing in particular that I actually went to show off that I knew was in the game, but I wasn't exactly where. So, yeah, this will be an interesting video if... Yeah, it'll be an interesting video. me to go underground, doesn't it? I, I don't even know if there's anything to do down here, down there. Um, well, I mean, before we start off, I guess maybe we should say hi to, you know, our good old friend, old but oh, um, there's a police line around it. H hi, how are you? You, you oh, there's police? Hi. How how are you doing? Uh, 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 hi. Walking right back into my claws. Bold. Make no mistake, child. If these police officers weren't making a show of investigating things right now, you would not be leaving a second time. Thanks to your little stunt, the chief wants to renegotiate our arrangement. He thinks sending a few of his kittens down here will pressure me. They won't find anything, of course. They're not that stupid. But it does mean I need to keep things orderly for a little while. No accidents happening to anyone, you know. This'll all blow over soon. If you're smart, you'll run. Dolly noted. Let me just, you know, get here and grab me running on my my, my scooter <laughs> <Make way. laughs> anyway um let's see as we start there are a few places i as i said that we want to go over and i'll probably be making a few cuts here and there but i believe over here 
Yeah. There, there, there's a few shops for dyes and other flares that I have missed. And I'm going to try and figure out where they are. And one of them's right here. Mixed berries. Very colorful, very shiny. Citrus. That sounds very citrusy. You know? Gotta get, get all that citrus in the land. And we have a, 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 a hat for sprint flaring. For, for, for split. For sprint! Sprinting as fast as the wind. And also, I haven't noticed, but once you've collected all the purchasable items from one of these vendors, they are no longer talkable. So, you know. I also want to make note that, um. You are. I, I, as far as I'm aware, there is no, like, significant or major reward for collecting all of the stickers spread throughout Yakuza Metro. They're just collectibles here and there. There is an achievement associated with collecting at least 30 of them throughout the metro. But I don't think this is something I'm going to necessarily show off in the Let's Play. It's definitely something you can look online for and... Well, I hope you don't mind me not doing it. But uh, yeah, it's not necessarily something that you need. But I mean, if, if you if you want, you know, some shiny stickers, they're they're there for you to collect. Also, also I believe that's a mod. Maybe that's a mod sticker. I think that's from a mod I have installed. I have mods disabled, but I have the mod disabled. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, cut time. Woo! Actually, wait. Let's let's let's. let's I, I I need to show. My will to grab this. I, I need to get. I, I need to get the penguin. Okay, cut time. I tried feeding one of the trees. Doing up that. Doing up here. Being all the way up here at Pink Paw Station, there was also another um vendor that I missed. Want to wear the latest fashion? I yes, I do. Ribbit. Ribbit. Croak. Um. <laughs> Anarchy. Let's take a look at that. What's it look like? I don't know. That, yeah, that definitely looks like Anarchy. <laughs> um, some really cool headphones. You know, kind of like the ones I wear, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, look at look at those. Those are rad. Look, look at those. I like those headphones. I like those as a flare. And um, well, <laughs> well, that description tells a thousand words. So if you have ever wanted pain shot through your eyes, warning by the way. Um, wow. Yeah, that looks. Yeah, uh, if you ever want pain shot through your eyes, uh, yeah, you, you, you can have a red old time. It makes them hungry. Anyway, let's, let's take this awfulness off. Um, <laughs> so yeah, retro, re retro VR badge, it's definitely something. I don't know who died that, of doing that, but you know, science. Anyway, um, yeah, our jump cut time because there's more to discover. I actually don't know if, you know, there are any other vendors, but, you know, I guess I'll change with the cut. What do you have to say? Shh, get out of here! You're ruining my hiding spot, kid! Thanks, sorry. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> In the underground part of the yellow overpass station, and under the, you know, little great hole, there was actually a thing that I missed that was... Well, it was in area in part 28, I believe. 
but it was kind of a thing that I never even really noticed because it was just kind of not really in my sight unless you like move the camera purposefully. Oh, that, there, there we go. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's this room. It doesn't look mu like much until you pan the camera up. Trans rights. So apparently this was a bit of a controversial thing when it was first discovered when the DLC released. Because people saw it as someone trying to push their political agenda or whatever into a game that really didn't need it. Personally, I just think it's a really cool Easter egg if you look out of your way, and I don't really have a problem with it. It's just... There's really no reason to have a problem with it. It's just a little hidden Easter egg that you really wouldn't notice unless you press the Y button and or pan your camera up. I think it's cool personally, but... Man, this really is going to be quite the awkward cut of an episode. I can already tell. Um, so I'm not gonna lie, this part of the recording is recorded days later after I record pretty much the rest of the episode, because originally what I was going to show here wasn't appearing for a reason. Thing was, um, well, it was coming because, you know, <laughs> it just wasn't available yet. Welcome back, tiny baby alien. Come and browse the mail of Mafia. So in this room, you can view custom-made mod maps from our players who have uploaded to the Steam Workshop. However, sometime after the um, Yakuza Metro DLC released, they added an update which added a new mode, Challenge Road. This is a gauntlet of levels created by um, you, mod creators that have uploaded their content to Steam Workshop. And here and every now and then, um, the developers will choose a set amount of maps and put them into the challenge road. And you can try and play through them all with only three lives. If you can get through it with three lives, you'll get a shiny little bird 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 war trophy. And you know, it, it's cool. It adds kind of replayability and gives you a challenge to do every now and then when they're available. I forget how long this one is. I think it's longer than usual. Usually these challenge roads are typically two to three maps. But I think there's more than just these five that are displayed. Looks like someone's joining me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get, get out of here. Get out of here, dude. Stop laughing at me. I'll handle your stuff later on in the past. Get some fancy goggles. Oh, hi there. And you know, wow, this music is really loud, but it's kind of cool. Um, but yeah. Also, when you're playing on these kinds of levels, you'll see these little icons up here. Those are mark. Those are emotes that are marked there by other players who have played the map. More commonly seen in the challenge road maps, obviously. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try and get through this and see how well I do. Ouchie ouch. I don't know if I'm really going to be able to make it because honestly, these challenge roads start out rather simply, but oh yeah, certain players can affect how the map appears. <laughs> They're waiting for me, how good. You go ahead first. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, there we go. 
Let me just swim in my pillows. Um, but yeah. These used to be rather easier levels, but the last one I played anyway was actually extremely difficult. Which the developers actually tease to being harder in the future. Okay, can we make it? There we go, we're fine. But yeah, um... Yeah. These can be rather tough or very long and gruesome. And honestly, there's really nothing to really gain from doing Challenge Road. Besides, perhaps, an achievement on the Steam version, because Challenge Road is only a Steam exclusive mode, as far as I'm aware. There we go. Oh, yeah. I see how it is. Ouch. Saw plates. They're pretty rude and stuff. Okay, let's see. Here we go. There we go. Oh, jeez. That's no fun. Um, which way am I going? This way, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I gotta be careful because, again, I only have, like, three lives to do this on. Wow. Good stuff. I don't know if I'll exactly show it That's the truth. Wait, I think I'll just go through this until I die because... I mean, I can, I can show what the Bird War trophies look like on your file, because I've gotten a few on their file that I... You, well, I, just, I just did that again. Maybe I should probably slow down time. That's probably a good idea. So I don't have to be worried about the fire and the things. Um... Give me a fast tire badge. But yeah, um... There we go. That's a whole lot better. Why did I do that? Yeah, this is... Like, this isn't even hard. I'm just... having a bad time. Hi. <laughs> you should not be saluting me. I am not a seal. I don't have my seal costume. Anyway, um, yeah. Oh boy. Okay. I think I'm getting close to the end. Yeah. Uh, make it, please. Okay, we're good. We're good. Hi! Just wanted to thank you all that supported me while making this mod. To those who taught me how to do things in the better. And so those who believed in me, who I, so I almost quit. Had it not been for you all, I probably would have been here to submit this mo this for Community Jam in time. And also thank you, player, for making the sign this time to my little mod. Have some jello. You earned it. Aw. How sweet. Hello? I should pro. You know what? Get get give me give my, my give me my seals. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can't. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. I can just cheat. Aha! No, okay. Okay, I can't cheat like that. I can at the very least cheat this one. There we go. Man. Huzzah, indeed. Anyway, yeah, it just kind of cuts to the next level. Also, it seems that your health carries over. That's spooky. I don't remember that being a thing. But, uh, yeah. Just going around doing these levels. 
I guess it gives me a bit of time to... That, okay. Well, good thing there was that elf thing there. I guess it just kind of gives me time to really look... Talk about the community and their mods in general. Honestly, the modding community in this game is kind of incredible. The stuff I have seen up here in the workshop... It's been really silly, really memey, or extraordinary, extraordinary things being done. And the fact that people are really just putting all this mod stuff together and giving this game possibly an endless life cycle, even outside of the developers possibly supporting this game. <laughs> it's it's really nice and I hope this game lives for a long time because like I've said before it's one of my favorite games it's just it's such a good time oh no he, they fell <laughs> no no okay maybe I should say tech too that's pretty silly but yeah just the support these developers have given for mods and all this stuff. It's really nice. And... Yay! There we go. <laughs> I, was try I was trying to think of what emote to use. But yeah. It's just nice to see this game get supported like this. And, you know. I don't know where I'm really going with this because, I mean... Uh... Wait a minute. So, how do we get... Oh. That works. Ah! Silly jumps! But yeah, you can have simpler, easier levels like this. Where am I going? I don't even know where I went. Um... Uh... <laughs> I think platforms are supposed to respawn. Or wait, no, there's a thing over here. That didn't fling me up like I was thinking it would. Come on. Eh, okay, we're good. Yeah. Just. I don't know what to really talk about with this going on. Because, I mean, it's just a good time. It, so if you, like, happen to get this game and are interested in the mod support... Let me, let me try and figure this out. Okay. That, that, that wall is kind of weird. Not gonna lie. Honestly, I'll probably stop recording this after I... if I die here. Because, I mean, I don't want this going on too long, because... I imagine this video probably is already longer than it should be. But yeah. yeah. Okay, I can't really tell what to do. Yep, yeah, I don't know what to do there. Because, <laughs> I mean, it looks like I can grab on or climb up that thing. But, I mean, also, yeah, don't worry if you lose your life, it responds to you to the last checkpoints. Though the fact that I only have one life is troublesome. But yeah, I'll probably go ahead and show what a bird trophy looks like on your save file. Or bird award or whatever. Here, and yeah. Um... Oh, I was probably g supposed to do it like that, weren't I? Nope. Not exactly it. Wow, that's a weird jump. I don't think I've seen a jump like that in this game. But yeah, that's how they, the bird awards look. And I'll see you for whatever is supposed to be next up on this video. If I sound like there was no thing to do with this then, you know, ignore that because that's like
pass to me. So yeah. <laughs> See you guys in a second. And the updates keep on coming. They don't stop coming. So also, <laughs> I might as well add, um, with the recent update they add to um, the Steam version in the online party mode, you can actually change what music is playing in the hub for our players. And we all we all hear it. So you know, if you want to rock to, out to some really good remixes and just the songs in general, it's a good time if you want to dance with everyone. There is one more thing besides Challenge Road, which I unfortunately can't show. And that's over here. Oh boy. Um, I'm not looking forward to this. Remember that time you almost died? I'd like to revisit that. I'm sure you would. I believe, yeah, there is a brand new Death Wish that was added in Yakuza Metro. And it's just, you know, snatcher coins in Yakuza Metro, apparently. <laughs> There doesn't seem to be a ward associated with it, unfortunately. Though, there's... It seems like there are more... Oh wait, no, there are much more. Oh boy! I guess there might be more parts to this, or maybe not, I don't know. No jumping in a mansion more than five times, which, I mean... Shapeshifter without regenerating any health. And the finish the mansion in under seven minutes. None of them seem to reward anything, but I figure I might as well do one for old time's sakes. Maybe I'll do all of them. I guess. I guess. I guess. I don't know. I mean, how hard could no jumping in the mansion be? I mean, it's just it's just a it's just the mansion without you know, not 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 jumping. Oh, yeah. You can go into death wishes with, with our players, so you know. That's a thing. Uh... That's definitely a picture. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Oh, okay. So I'm completely wrong. <laughs> I've been completely tricked by the game. <laughs> so mods, I guess, can add contracts. I guess that was complete. That was a mod, by the way. I thought it was talking about the mansion, like you know, Queen Vanessa's mansion. <laughs> so I guess there only is really like you know. Three mod, or, or just the Snatcher coins. So yeah, uh, figure it out real quick, hold on. Back to the old grindstone. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Those were not supposed to be there. Anyway, there are three Snatcher coins over in, um, you know, Nyakusa Metro. And I guess I never really, I don't think I ever really went over the, uh, Snatcher coins. Did I? I don't think I did anyway. So, in each chapter, there's a contract associated with gaining these little tokens or coins or whatever. They're just scattered throughout the levels. And yeah, you know, you can just like look around and find them if you know, if if you want to feel pain. But you can also use your well, I guess I guess we'll see in the plaza. The, I keep wanting to call it plaza. Metro. It's a metro. I don't even know where I get plaza from. All right. So, with the snatcher coins, you you can kind of look everywhere you want, or you can just you know um pull out. Let's see. The, com the compass badge, and it'll actually point you in the direction of where these things are. Now, whether it'll be helpful here or not, that's a different story. 
I guess it's up here. Or at least one of them. So, um... I guess while I'm doing this, I'll... Go over my thoughts over in Yakuza Metro. Because, I mean, obviously I haven't really played... Oh, it's over here? I think, I think that's it, actually. Uh... Yeah, let me get on you. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, don't fall off. There it is. Look how fancy that coin is. Anyway, um... I maybe we're going upward? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, uh... Nyak is the Metro Dots. As I fall into my doom. I enjoyed it. Like, I really enjoyed the area here. There's quite a bit to do. There's still a lot to collect with the stickers alone. And there's a lot of stickers as far as I'm aware. Um... The, I, I like the characters, I like the area. I believe I already said I like the area, so you know, that's kind of redundant. I just... I enjoyed this a lot more than the last DLC, honestly. I mean, the, the Seal the Deal and Yakuza Metro are pretty different beasts onto themselves. But I really like the explorati explorative side of this DLC. And, you know, I, I guess that's that. Um, I like the new items you can get. Um, I'm very bad at this. This is not like the end, like in credits. So I just have to keep going while I search for these things. I guess it's up there. Figures. Can I get up there somehow? I'm sure I'll find a way up there. Probably drew all these guys somewhere. Somehow, some way. Yeah. That's probably what we do. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely not supposed how, how it's supposed to work. I can definitely speak. Um. But yeah, I, I just enjoyed this DLC. And considering it's the last piece of DLC for this game, seemingly. It's kind of bittersweet. I've had a really good time playing this game. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's honestly become one of my favorite games ever. It has its problems, definitely. But honestly, there's a lot of heart to this game. And that just really does it for me, for the most part. Okay, it's down here. I don't know. And... Oh, it's down there. Okay, cool. I can't go down there easily. Um... But yeah, for the most part, I just really enjoy this game. It's a lot of fun to play. I've been Have you seen the latest working... Yes, we've already seen the last episode. Um... Also, I've been playing away at the Switch version, still trying to work at the, uh... The, I was supposed to say tokens at the contracts for Death Wish. That's still a pain, but it's still going well, I think. And yeah, I, I just if if you have a PS3 or not PS3, excuse me. If you have a PS4 or Xbox One or Nintendo Switch, especially Nintendo Switch, or if you or if you know your computer can handle games like this, which, I mean, don't get me wrong, this game looks simple to a sense, but it, it does require quite a bit. Get out of here. No. Get away. No. Hey. Rude. No. Stop it. I guess we're down down here more. Um... Yeah, don't get me wrong. You need a pretty decent computer to be running this perfectly well. Heck knows I should not have been recording this game on my old computer the way I was. But yeah, if you if you have a current generation console at the time of recording this, or a very nice PC, yeah, get this game. Honestly, I just really enjoy it. 
very fun. I think it's over here. I, I think it is over there. Oh, jeez. Snatcher, you really are a monster. Get out of here, rats. Yeah, just enjoy this game. I, if you're a fan of um, platformers, you'll just... I think you'll enjoy this game. It has a lot of heart. Um... I honestly don't know where to go from there. <laughs> I'm very bad at these. Oh yeah, this is that and that is this. I'm bad at that. By the way, I I imagine I've probably already mentioned in the last part. Also, the audio is messed up now. I don't know how I do that. Um, wrong things. Um, I I want to mention that uh, the developers have also made mention that they are that that with the DLC releasing on this Nintendo Switch version. They are looking into getting the DLC and recent updates add into the Xbox One and PS4 versions. I don't think a, a word has been said about that so far and how progress is going, but they seem really determined to try and get those running on the systems. So if you're hesitant on getting the PS4, Xbox One versions before any DLC announcements for them at the time of this video, um. I totally understand, because, I mean... You could play the Switch version and get all the content for the most part. There we go. I got a map. I completed it again! <laughs> Technically, I, I guess. Not completely. What? You're not dead? Surprisingly not. This book was useless, Ash. Sue! Uh. You completed all my contracts, but somehow, you're still alive to test me. Thanks, I guess. Really, that's just great. Congratulations. Huh? You want a reward? Look, kid, we've done this before. You really need to learn to negotiate up front. I get the feeling you're not going to leave me alone unless I hand over something. It's always about you. Huh? You know, you weren't even supposed to make it this far. They should be picking out flowers for you right now. So I guess we can't always get what we want. Now there, there. At least you have the feeling you achieved something. You earned it. If it wasn't clear, our business is concluded. Go bother someone else, kiddo. Well, I think that's the same dialogue from before and the last... DLC stuff. Oh no, I just realized I never showed off the diary stuff. I, I wow, yeah. No, I did show off the diary stuff. Um I guess I'm gonna have to play through this game some more. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and get that and then I guess that'll be it. So yeah, cut time. Pa perfect time perf perfect pausing. Perfect pausing. I should also make mention that y you get three stars whenever you have all the time pieces and all of the, uh, you know, death wishes done, or whatever. So yeah, there's that. It's 110%. How fancy. Day 39. This place is busy, huh? There's cats traveling all over the place, and the trains are pulled by cats too? Weird. There was a timepiece here, but some big, scary lady made me hand it over to her. What's her deal? Why is she use? Why is she so mean? It's, it's a very, very good question. Day forty. The empress has me running around trying to find timepieces, but then she keeps taking them back off me. Rude. She gave me some cash for it. It's green and smells of cat fur. What is it for? Day 41. The smell of food is so distracting while I'm running around in this place. I wonder if that rude lady will notice if I stop looking and go eat instead. Day 42. The tunnels are kind of spooky. They're all dark and then a big cat comes whooshing along it. 
There was a smashed up timepiece down here too, but I had to give it give it over like the rest. Uh, I totally read that right. Day 43. Whoa, that was intense. I nearly got squished. All that for more of this cash stuff. I'm making lots of money, apparently. But I want my timepieces, not this junk. Day 44. I fell through a sewer gate and there was more metro down there? What? And there was a timepiece down there. But I didn't get to keep it. Day 45. So, the metro is underground, but there's an underground train line. And these manhole covers lead under... underground? Cats are weird. Day 46. How many are, it, are there in this place? Not that I'm getting to keep any. I'm going to sneak in there and get them back somehow. Day 47. Whoa. That was close. That nasty cat lady almost got me. But I barely escaped completely on my own. And all the timepieces are mine. Bye bye, Metro. And of course, with the DLC, we have that is included Yakuza Metro in the credits. Looks pretty nice. We also had credits for the stickers over there. I don't, I don't know if you guys saw it, but it was pretty fancy. But yeah, um, that that's all really the changes to the credits. Also, there she has a lot of money. <laughs> I assume that's money. But uh, yeah, that's it. As far as I'm aware, nothing else is different in Crit, so... Um... Yeah, that's pretty much it for a hat in time. For now, anyway. I mean, no, I don't mean just Yakuza Metro. I very much mean, like, the entirety of this game. I've, as far as I'm aware, I've covered this whole game, pretty much. Or as much as I can, anyway. Unless the unless gears, uh, unless gears for breakfast releases more DLC or some major update that adds additional big content to this game, that's pretty much it for this game on my channel. I mean, un uh, unless a sequel happens, but you know, who knows. What the future may hold. Once again, Sarah Little Hat Kid sleeping after a deep journey into the metro again for like the third time. It, it, it's gotta be really tiring for. Her. But yeah, um, that's it for Hat in Time, pretty much. I don't want to get sappy just yet. Because I have one more little surprise with this game. Next time on Let's Play A Hat in Time, we travel back to the past. See you guys then.